السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello everybody Today we will make wax pattern of the mandibular first molar This is example of um, wax pattern of the mandibular second molar from one of my student As you see you can see four equal cusps And this is the fitting surface with the margin. This wax pattern will be transformed into middle crown. It will be burned out, investing, and casting to be transformed into metal crown. This is the instruments. This is BKT wax kit. It includes five instruments. Number from one number one to number five. Number one and two wax droppers with different sizes to control the size of the wax. يعني تنقط بين نقطة صغيرة أو نقطة كبيرة حسب السائز اللي بتختاره. Number three anatomical. You can make uh, the mesial and distal triangular fossa. Number four wax carver. Number five you can use it to make the um, develop the secondary grooves and the triangular ridge of each cusp. So this is BKT wax kit, include five instruments. Because we will use a uh, dropping method, wax dropping method. This is the cervical wax. It's red marginal wax is more flexible to make the margin of the crown is more flexible to avoid breakage of the wax during removal and proper fit. This is the carving wax. I prefer the dark blue. This is Kavix from German. I will use three different colors just to differentiate the anatomical landmarks of the tooth just for the demo, but you only need one color. I prefer the dark blue color, which have good strength to avoid breakage during removal. You will need, uh, the wax pattern is performed on the dye, removable dye, so you have to use uh, dye spacer to provide room for the cement later on. نعمل زي المناكير بتحط ون دقيقة وتسبو ينشف عشان يوفر لك فراغ يتحط فيه سيمنت بعد كده بيبقى سمكه بالمايكرون. This is separating medium and micro brush or swab or cotton whatever you want. This is electric wax dropper instead of the flame source. You can use a flame source like torch, sibertaya, whatever you want. You don't have to buy the electric wax uh, dropper, but uh, this is the prepared tooth, the mandibular first molar. Make sure that there is no undercut. We will start with separating medium on the prepared tooth, the adjacent teeth, to avoid the sticking of the contact area and the opposing tooth to avoid sticking the wax while we adjust the occlusion. كتري كترة قد ما تقدري على السنة وجنبها ده ما بيضرش ده سمكه بالمايكرو مش هيضر خاصة ان حرارة الوكس كل شوية الوكس باتن. الوكس باتن. تنشف الوكس باترن السبريتنج ميديوم فسهل جدا ان الوكس باترن يلزق على السنة وصعب فصله المعمل بيبقى عايز يفصل الكراون عشان لسه يعمله burn out sprawing and burn out uh, investing casting whatever كل شوية تحطي separating medium عشان حرارة الوكس هتنشف separating medium وبالذات على الجيسان كيف عشان الوكس ما يلزقش عليها ويتكسر وانتي بتشيليه This is the wax dropper You should start with the larger size. You can use any instrument that you like or prefer. Uh, all these instruments are 
guiding only guiding like but uh, you can use whatever you want we will start with that cervical the marginal red wax on the mar on the finish line to make the margins more flexible to avoid breakage of the margin and make sure the sealing of the margin of the crown over the finish line to avoid any leakage and food uh, accumulation and recurrent cares and so on. Uh, it's referred to use red mark to mark the finish line or just below the finish line so you can see the end of the finish line so later on when you remove the excess of the uh, wax you can use the scalpel blade to cut off and make uh, well sealed margins ممكن بالقلم الأحمر ترسم تحت الفنش لاين exactly عشان لما بيكفر بالواكس تبقى شايف الظل بتاع القلم الأحمر فتقص عليه بالضبط بعد كده بالمشرط لما تيجي تقص المارجنز زيادة عشان ما نعملش long margins or overhanged Then I used the dark blue color to make the maximum contour or the height of contour This is buckly the height of contour is at the junction between the cervical and medical middle third this is the height of contour I just will use the dark blue color to differentiate the height of contours in all axial surface and occlusal surface then I will fill this the uh, the uh, the space between them with the green wax but you can use only one color on the height of contour the maximum height of contour on in the lingual surface is in the middle of middle the middle of the middle third this is the maximum height of contour lingually according to this tooth in the anterior it's in the uh, cervical in the uh, mandibular second premolar is in the occlusal third lingually but buccally in all teeth the maximum height of contour at the junction between the cervical and the middle third this is the uh, contact area mesial and distal this is the maximum height of contour proximally for the contact area I prefer adding the wax and while it is still soft I prefer placing the tooth quickly in the model so the soft wax will be adopted to the size, perfect size of the contact area guided by the neighboring teeth here uh, my problem that the adjacent teeth has injury in the contact area by the student that repaired the, uh, this tooth it made injury of the adjacent teeth so that the contact area is not perfect It was rough and doesn't didn't allow me to make a uh, good contact area. Um, the wax pattern is preferred to uh, be a little bit oversized to uh, to compensate the shrinkage in the investing later on. But avoid make over contoured or um, severe oversized, very large. No.
بتعمل الواكس باترن بنفس مقاس السنة الطربوش اللي انت عايز تعمله او اكبر شوية عشان يعوض الشرينكج اللي يحصل بعد كده وانا بصنع الميدل كراون عشان الميتال بعد كده بيحصلوا شرينكج لما يجي يبرد You can see I add in the proximal contact area horizontally to allow the drop to seal the contact area. The contact area is in the occlusal third in the proximal surface. You can see that the contact area in the posterior teeth is placed more buccal. more buckly while in the anterior teeth it's in the middle of the middle it's in middle of the middle third but occlusally <coughs> بتلاحظ انا بنقط الواكس بالجنب عشان النقطه ما تنزلش لتحت مكان الانترودنتال بابيلا بنقطها من فوق بالجنب عشان تزحلق وتقفل الكونتاكت اري Then I use uh, the wax dropper to drop the cusp heights, the cusp tip. You can see five cusps. Um, you should preserve the proportions of the cusp, uh, the the cusp size sizes that the maximum, uh, the largest cusp is the mesobuccal cusp, then the two lingual cusps, then the testobuccal cusp, and the distal cusp is the smallest one. You should preserve these proportions. Again. Starting from the largest cusp is the mesobuccal, then the two lingual cusps, and then distobuccal, and the distal cusp is the smallest one. Here I make the proximal marginal ridge. The proximal marginal ridge is very important. Here the triangular ridge of each cusp. You should uh, make the proper direction of each cusp triangular ridge. As we know, each cusp has pyramidal shape, has two slopes with triangular ridge in the middle. It has a correct direction. There is no transverse ridge or oblique ridge in the mandibular first molar. So, كل كاسب ترينجلر ريتش بيبصص قدام مع ميلان بسيط ناحية السنترال فصة ما تعملوش قدام بالظبط عشان ما فيش ترانسفيز ريتش ولا ميل جامد ناحية السنترال فصة لان ما فيش اوبليك ريتش بيفصل بينهم سنترال جروف The guide for me for the buccal and lingual contour is the, the adjacent teeth. You can use a straight instrument to avoid uh, over contouring buccal and lingual. You can see our bridental group. The neighboring teeth are guiding me to make the contour buccal and lingual. You can make 
the wax pattern a little bit oversized but not over contour so as you see uh, with the dark blue color um, I made the maximum height of contour buckle lingual contact areas and occlusally now I made the sloops of the cusps like I connect each cusps that will be separated later on with the grooves Here I'm using, I'm using the opposing teeth to guide me for the height of the cusps to make sure that it's not under or over, over height. And also to make sure the exact exact location of the buckle cusps Of course, you know that the mesobuccal cusp tip opposing, occluding the opposing mesal triangular fossa and the distobuccal cusp occluding the central fossa, the distal cusp occluding the distal uh, triangular fossa. Here I'm using, uh, I'm using the green wax to fill the space between all these landmarks so as you see I made the most important landmarks with the dark blue color and then I fill the spaces with the green wax It's preferred to use the larger size wax dropper starting with the larger size and ending with the smaller size for the fine details of the anatomy. You can control the wax drop with the choosing the size of the wax dropper. You have four sizes. I fill the spaces, all the spaces to make sure there is no air bubbles between them. But the advantage of the wax that you can, during the whole work, you can add the wax and remove the wax. So the, reverse, the mistake is reversible. You can add and remove all the time, whenever you want and wherever you want. طول الفيديو هتلاحظوا ان انا بضيف وشيل بضيف وشيل
بس انصحكو انكو تكبروا حجم الواكس باترن لان ليتر اون وانت بتعمل كل ما بتعمل فينيشنج اند بولشنج بتشيل منه فالافضل من الاول تعمله اكبر بيبقى سهل انك تشيل اسهل من انك تضيف كل شويه فاعمله في الاول اكبر وشيل بس مش اكبر قوي يعني هيتعبك شويه في الفينيشنج والبولشنج هير ام ميكينج شور ذات ذا كونتاكت اريا وذ ذا بروبر سايز Here I'm adjusting the contact. This is the proximal surface. I'm sure to seal the margin of the crown and to adjust the proximal contact area. I know that here the tooth looks messy. <laughs> أصبح شكل السنة هلامي قد يبدو لك شكل غريب لكن مع الفينيشينج والبولشينج طالما أنت عارف أنت عايز توصل لإيه إن شاء الله هتوصل اللي أنت عايزه اشتغل بطريقتك المهم توصل للنتيجة المرجوة للأناتومي اللي أنت عارفه طالما أنت عارف البروبر أناتومي هتعرف توصله زي ما أنت هتحب للناس اللي بتعرفش ترسم كويس او مبتلحدش كويس زي حالاتي كده ممكن باي براكتس باي اكسرسايز دول ميك بروبر اناتومي احنا مش بندور على فنانين بقدر ما بندور على بروبر اناتومي اند بروبر واكس باترن I'm here to try to fill all the spaces with the wax to reduce the air bubbles between them. زي ما قلت حاول تحط السنه والكونتاكت اريا ليز سوفت عشان يبقى النبرنج تيث لو هي سليمه لو كونتاكت اريز بتاعتها سليمه هتبقى جايد ليك انك تطلع بروبر كونتاكت اريا بسهوله مع مراعاه ان في اوكلوزل اند جينجفال امبريجرز باكل اند لينجوال هنا جايد ليا الاوبوزنج تيث عشان اتاكد اذا كنت عامله هاي اوكلوجن اور اندر and the exact location of the cusps. طول الفيديو هتلاقوني بضيف وشيل add and remove دي ميزة الوكس Rocks pattern into a reversible mistake أنصحكوا برضو تعملوا كارفين لو ولما تزهق أخد بريك وارجع تاني فنن فيه لكن هنا عشان أنا وقت التصوير كنت مضطرة أشتغل ورا بعضه وكل ما تستحلك الفرصة حط سبريتنج ميديوم عشان الحرارة الوكس بتنشف السبريتنج ميديوم هيصعب فصل الكراون لكن لو تفصل منك ما فيش منع تسلمه بالبريبيرد توث لكن طبعا المعمل لازم هيفصله هيفصل الوكس باتن عن التوث طبعا في ناس هتقول ايه لازم نتعلم الوكس بات this is wax carver wax carver ممكن تدفي تدفئة تقربوا من الفليم ما تحطوش في الفليم تدفي وتشتغل بيه لان كل ما تشتغل على البارد بتعمل internal stresses يحصل لها بعد كده release ويحصل wax distortion فما يفضلش تشتغل على البارد انا هنا بس بشيل الاكسس واكس بلو ذا فينيش لاين انت لو عامل بريد مارك 
بتقص عليه بالسكالبل بليد It's better to remove the scalpel blade. لما تشتغل بأي instrument يفضل تدفيها soft, not hot. ولا تسيح الوكس. We're not cold. وإلا تعمل لك internal stresses في الوكس. يحصل لها بعد كده release. تعمل distortion. Here I'll make sure that I properly seal the margins of the crown. Here I am using the synthetic socks. It's very helpful for me to merging all the anatomy and all the wax to make finishing and polishing. It's optional, but it's really helpful. Here I'm sealing any air bubbles because it will be reflected into a perforation in the casting crown. And make sure to seal the margins of the crown. هتلاحظوني طول الفيديو بعمل add and remove, add and remove. طبعا انت لو زبطت الكراون من الاول تبقى انت حد بروفيشنال قوي. مع استخدام الشراب هتبدا تلاحظ استنى بدا يبقى ليها معالم بعد ما كانت هلاميت الشكل كده تبع العفريت منها بدمج ومنها بعمل فينيشنج وحراره ايدك بتدفي الشراب دفي الوكس <تصفيق> 